Hey Airsurance, this is Brianna with Chipmunk SEO here, just delivering the video as promised. Uh, in this video, I wanted to give you a few tips on ways to improve your website and increase your presence online to get more customers, okay? Um, the first thing I'm going to cover here is content. In Google's eyes, content is king. Google likes to see at least 15,000 to 200 words of content on the homepage. And then on your back service pages, you want at least 500 to 750 minimum, okay? Um, there's two big reasons for that. First one is with more content and the more that you're talking about your subject, the more Google's going to see you as an expert and give you the ranking as such. And the other reason is the more content you have, when people are searching something, the more likely that thing they're searching for is going to be on your website, so you're going to show up in the results. Um, I'll give you an explanation and show you what that means. So going through here, we pull up. Arizona air conditioning companies. That's a pretty straightforward keyword that people are going to be using in your area. Um, again, this is just, it's good to use area specific. You can also get more in depth and go to specific cities. It doesn't hurt at all. Um, it it's better to be specific with the location than it is to just be broad because then you might have someone searching for AC repair in Florida and they're coming up with you guys. Um, so if we look up Arizona air conditioning companies, you're going to see some Google ads pop up right here. You can ignore those. A lot of people have ad blockers, so it's in my mind not worth the money. Um, this is the Google map pack. This is the quickest way to get yourself on the first page of Google. Um, if you haven't set up Google My Business, you need to do it. You need to add your contact information, business hours of operation, physical location, get some photos in there too, at least 10 or so. And then there's something called citations. Citations are online directories like Yelp, um, White Pages, Yellow Pages. I saw you even had a reference for Angie's List. Same type of situation. They are just online directories of companies, and if they have your information, it boosts you here the more you have, okay? Your goal is to be in the first three because four and up doesn't matter. No one likes to click that view all button. Um, Continuing down here, you're going to see just some review companies or just marketing talking about other businesses. Those aren't actually businesses offering that service, right? Phoenix Consumer Affairs, they aren't going to be doing your installation or your vent clean. So we continue down past the Yelp, past the BBB, past the Home Advisor, and we get to your first competitor's organic site. And it is the George Brazil. We pull up their website so you can take a look here. This is what they've got going on, okay? Nothing too fancy, pretty simple. But let's see how we're looking on a tool. This tool I use, I use it for my clients for when I'm building or rebuilding their websites so that I know I'm using the right type of content, keywords, backlinks, everything. I need to be able to see the back end of my client's website and their competitors to know that I'm giving them the best possible results. So this tool is called AREFs. I entered in your website up here, and I can see that there are 46 websites online referencing your company 65 times. Um, thing is, none of these domains allow customers to click to the links. So you're being brought up on a website, but you're not getting any traffic from it. No one can click on your information from these sources to get over to you. Um, that's something we would want to change. We want to make sure that your backlinks are actually allowing your customers to get a chance to find you. So, sorry, excuse my little technical difficulty here. Um, so yeah, we, we need to get more authoritative backlinks, backlinks relating to your services. Um, a lot of them are just yellow pages or a domain verification. Um, Let's see, what else do we have? Tune-ups, local flavor. So you've got a lot of coupons and stuff going on. Um, you're even showing up on the Alexa list. But we need to get something more authoritative, something to do with HVAC services, okay? Um, your organic keywords, you have 21. Let's see what they look like. 
So you're talking a lot about portable units for rent. Um, you guys are getting a search volume happening. So I want to show you this portable air conditioner rental is getting searched 600 times. This doesn't have a location, so that can be anywhere in the nation for people searching this. Um, but out of those 600, you're only getting two. You're not getting very many people coming over to you and you're in the 20th position. Um, you are pretty low on all of these keywords. This is what position you're going to show up on the Google searches. And you already saw from the Google searches, you know, it, it, it ends right around here at 14. So anything past 10 to 14, people would have to click on the next page. I don't know about you, but I don't know a lot of people that like to go to the next pages on Google. So that's something we want to change. You, you want to be more higher ranking. You need to be on that first page. That would help if you have more content and more keywords. Think about all the different services you offer, all the ways your customers might be looking that up online, and get those words on your website. That's my biggest recommendation that I can give. Um, but from those 46 domains with the all 65 backlinks as do not follow and your 21 keywords, you're getting about four customers going to your website organically on Google each month. Okay, that's, that's fairly low. Um, I want to show you your competitors, though, so we can see where we need to go and grow. All right, they've got 700 domains, and we can see georgebrazilhvac.com. It's the same one. They've got 700 domains with over 8,000 backlinks. And down here, you can see that some of those domains, 700, out of the 700, 55% of them are clickable links. But yours, none of them. So we need to get some better links. We would be looking in. What kind of backlinks do they have that are good, worthwhile? What do we What do we got? Okay, well, we've got, that's Los Angeles and Orange County. We don't care about California. Here we go. There's one. Best. Oh, see, that's not even ma making reference to it. Plumbers in Phoenix. That's what I'm talking about. That's a backlink that they're getting traffic from. It's a nofollow. But it's not worthwhile because it's not relating to the specific service. Air conditioning companies, if it was saying in Phoenix, would be great. Um, so because they cover a broad service area, they're riding on the coattails of the other service locations, which means there's opportunity for you to get through. Absolutely. Um, we can go in here. We can snag the good backlinks using the copycat method, snag the ones that are worthwhile, and then the ones that aren't. You know, just let them go. Uh, you're going to want at least 100 backlinks more than your competitor, at least. Um, and then they're referring domains. You want to make sure that you're getting referenced by good domains. Okay, see how they have homestead.com. That's a good one. Uh, keyword basket. There's, there's a lot happening. And then look, George Brazil Plumbing Electrical. So this is why they're ranking for that plumbing backlink because they have other services, other service locations, and they're linking them all together. Um, that's precisely how the game is played. <laughs> um, so for their organic keywords, they've, they've got a bit more. They're at 25,000 organic keywords, but all of this is bringing them over 14,000 customers a month. And now that's not to say all of them are actually going to be getting services, but 14,000 people looking at the website is still a lot more potential than, you know, just four. Um, so there's a lot of room for growth for you there. Um, start getting some of those backlinks, start getting more domains, add more content to this web page and your other service pages and start focusing on your keywords. A really clever way that I'm going to tell you to get some keywords ranking is when you have photos on your website or in that map pack that we had down here, your Google My Business account, whatever photos you're using, change their file names. So if I go to save this image, it's got the file name of your company and the home. I would change it to something like Airsurance LLC dash um, HVAC companies, we could even use the same one, Arizona Air Conditioning Companies. That would be a great keyword to change your file name for your profile or your photo to. And there's a lot of photos on websites, so you have a lot of room for those keywords. Um, 
that's kind of it in a nutshell. I just, I don't want to take up much time. This video is kind of going long already, but yeah, so that's the goal. Um, we've talked about keywords and content. You need to build it up more and then you need to start getting some backlinks and you need to get citations to start boosting your Google map pack so that you can start getting on the first page of Google ASAP. Uh, that's about it. If you have any questions on how to implement this, more than happy to help advise you on it. And if you have a chance for feedback, I would love to get it. I'm looking to really add value to businesses and I want to make sure that these videos are touching on that. So thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.